Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about Mendel's monohybrid cross and laws of inheritance. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So let's check the cross first. Yeah, we will see this cross. So actually Mendel crossed tall and dwarf pea plants to study the inheritance of one gene. And the cross pollination of tall and dwarf plants resulted in tall plants only. And he called these as a F1 generation. And this capital TT and small TT are called the genotype of the plant while the descriptive terms tall and dwarf are the phenotype and Mendel then self-pollinated the F1 plants. So this is the selfing or self-pollination. Okay. Now the self-pollination resulted in three tall plants and one dwarf plant. He called these as a F2 generation. Now the tall and dwarf traits were identical to their parental type and did not show any blending. So that is all the offspring were either tall or dwarf. None were of in between height. So we didn't get any medium sized plants. All were either tall or dwarf. And the phenotypic ratio in F2 was 3 is to 1. Since we got 3 tall plants and 1 dwarf plants. And the genotypic ratio in F2 was 1 is to 2 is to 1. Here capital T, capital T 1, capital T, small t 2 and small t, small t 1. Okay, now let's check the text. So, I have already explained this part. No need to explain this again. Okay, from here we will explain. Based on these observations, Mendel proposed that something was being steadily passed down, unchanged from parent to offspring through the gametes over successive generations and he called these things as factors. Now we call them as genes. Now gene consists of a pair of alleles. Suppose we are saying that it is tall plant. So we are talking about the gene that is tall gene. Now this gene contains two parts. We call them alleles. One is capital T and one is small t. And capital T codes for tall and small t codes for dwarf. So if a pair of alleles is the same that is capital T capital T or small t small t that means both the alleles are same. That times we call them homozygous pair since homo means same. While those that are different that is capital T small t. Here we have two different alleles one is capital T other is small t. That time we call them heterozygous pair. Since the capital T small t plant is heterozygous for gene controlling one character that is the height the cross between capital T and small t t is a monohybrid cross. So actually here we are talking about only one gene that is the gene that is maintaining the height of the plant. So only one gene we are talking about that's why you are calling this cross at monohybrid cross. Mono means one. Now based on his experiments on monohybrid cross, Mendel proposed two general laws. So from this theory, from this 
experiment or observation he postulated two laws one is law of dominance and the other is law of segregation so what is law of dominance here he said that characters are controlled by factors and factors are actually genes that we call them nowadays now factors occur in pairs because we have seen that one factor or one gene contains two alleles so in a dissimilar pair of factors that is in case of heterozygous when we have capital t small t in that case one member of the pair dominates the other so in this case this capital t is the dominant allele that is controlling that is suppressing the effect of this small t allele hence we call this capital t as dominant and small t as recessive actually uh, why it is uh, this capital t is dominant because when both the alleles are there both the alleles are present together that time this capital t allele suppresses the effect of small t and small t actually encodes for dwarfism but capital t is suppressing the effect of small t and it is promoting the tall effect of plant hence we call capital t as dominant allele and small t as recessive allele next law is law of segregation so though the parents contain two alleles during gamete formation because we have seen either it will be capital t capital t or small t small t or capital t small t so two alleles are present in the parent but during gamete formation the alleles of a pair segregate from each other such that a gamete receives only one of the two factors because we know that the gametes are actually haploid n hence it contains only one allele okay now of course a homozygous parent produces all gametes that are similar that means we can see that this is the uh, homozygous parent capital t capital t so it will produce two gametes both will contain capital t allele right both the gametes will contain capital t allele so a homozygous parent produces all gametes that are similar and in the case of small t small t it will also produce two gametes and each gamete will have small t allele so both are same but the heterozygous one produces two kinds of gametes each having one allele with equal proportion but in case of heterozygous that is capital t small t it will produce two gametes one will have capital t allele and the other will have small t allele so different types of gametes it will produce but uh, it will be in equal proportion that means 50 percent gametes will have capital t and 50 percent gametes will have small t so this segregation of alleles is a random process and so there is a 50 percent chance of a gamete containing either allele that means t 50 percent chance to have capital t and 50 percent chance to have small t allele that's why he called it law of segregation that means he is talking about the segregation or separation of alleles in gametes during meiosis so this is all about today's lecture i hope you like the lecture if you want to get the pdf notes of this topic please check the first pin comment or the description box thank you